Hi, this is Wayne Kramer here to introduce to you today a um, series of short films we made for my album Lexington, which actually came out six years ago and was my only top ten hit record uh, in the Billboard charts, a free jazz record no less. Um, these first three were recorded during the uh, studio sessions for the album and they feature my wonderful partners Doug Lund, Charles Moore, Brock Avery, Eric Gardner, Bob Hurst, Tigran Hamasian, Buzzy Jones, Phil Ranlin, and the great engineer Eric Lilstrand. So this is just uh, part one and uh, we also have a part two coming up. Enjoy. What we're doing here today is the final day of recording Lexington, which is a, a companion album uh, to the score in the film, The Narcotics Farm. We call this spelunking. Charles in the end of the 60s we all found that we all shared this this cultural connection and that we were all listening to the same music and we just became friends in the sense of comrades with a common purpose and doing the same kind of work and over the years we've just been able to collaborate end up here today is just the ongoing nature of our friendship and our collaborative efforts Most of it is really, really open, and because we got all these amazing musicians playing together, it's really interesting to play with free music with all these guys. Well, actually, my experience with Wayne has largely been in this kind of context. It's never been in anything remotely straight ahead. It's been playing behind a poet or playing behind Edgar Allan Poe, being read by Christopher Walken and so on. So this is normal <laughs> for me. Anybody that loves music will get this music, but you have to love music. so far has been both very thought out and very organic. It's also less structure and more dependent on um, in the moment type of play and all the disciplines that, that come along with that. As a performer, you relish these times when you're actually creating the music. You know, uh, all the music that I've ever done with Wayne, uh, it's been challenging. I think the people playing this music are totally comfortable playing this music. I think they're completely within themselves playing it and it's not a stretch. Being creative is always a challenge and having something to say 
You know, it's like the thing we say, there's a big difference between knowing how to talk and having something to say. The challenges are in choices that you make, because a lot of this music, it's about, it's about expression and, and about ideas, but it's really about choices and not just individual choices, but collective choices, things that, that make a group effort work out, you know, to make the music come alive. happening in the studio. It's sort of the, the, the culmination of, of a, a lot of things for both Wayne and I, for our, our relationship. We share a lot of similar backgrounds in that we both came out, both products of, you know, of the 60s and different things that went on, both from the rock side of the world and the free jazz side of the world. The Hendrix Revolution, the electric guitar and that stuff, but also Sun Ra, Albert Eiler, Coltrane or Home in the free jazz world. Music is, is a challenge. No matter how much you think you know about it, it's always something new, and that's why I'm still in it. But at the same time, the direction is similar to some of the things that I've done in the past. It's almost like throwing the rabbit in the briar patch, you know. Musicians are all wonderful musicians very talented musicians. I mean, everybody has really contributed so much to the success of this. But now it's starting to really take shape and to become, you know, art, as it were. It's beautiful to be involved in something that's so open. There's structure to it, but there's also room for you actually you know, inputting your own personality into the music. <laughs> 